revision plays a very crucial role if you are preparing for any exam maybe you are preparing for any competitive exam or in your university examination or in your board examination revision is very important see in the previous video i have told you there are two phases in preparation first one is your reading phase like first time you are reading you are studying that subject second one is your revision phase so what tips and tricks you need to follow while you are reading that subject first time in the first phase that thing we have already discussed in the previous video and in this video we are going to discuss what are tips and tricks you need to follow while you are revising that subject right these things should be very important if you want to retain whatever you have read in your memory for a longer time so in this video i am going to discuss some revision tips for uh, those who are preparing for uh, ugc net exam and those who are going to appear in csir ugc a uh, net exam in this november 2020 you guys can boost up your preparation at an academy they have started their they are going to start a program named last minute strategy marathon for the subject life sciences as uh, we ha you have that uh, exam on i guess 20th of november for that subject so now you have already prepared your exam your preparation is over and now obviously you need some tips and tricks the last minute tips and tricks which are going to help you during your exam while attempting your exam so this program would be uh, on 20th of november at an academy and it would be started from 8 am in the morning and these last minute tips tricks would be given to you by the top educators at an academy for example they'll discuss the most important tricks and the formulas you need to revise before exam how to stay motivated throughout the exam this thing is also very important while you are attempting the exam and a smart approach smart strategy to get to maximize your mark to get maximum marks as well as you will find out a lecture on how to avoid negative marking because in csir uh, ugc net exam there is negative marking and you can attend these classes freely you don't need to pay anything so uh, to attend these classes you just have to enroll in this program in this course all the details and the enrollment link i'll provide you in the description box if you want you can go there and check out so now let us discuss these revision tips very first tip is before revising anything or before even uh, studying anything for first time you have to decide your peak hours your peak productive hour in which you are most productive right maybe during the day or maybe at night maybe uh, in the morning 4 to 8 or maybe at night from 11 to 3 am it's up to you do not just go to any others saying like they'll say you have to read at this time only in these 2 hours in these 5 hours every person is different so please decide the time according to yourself according to your situation so try to revise in these hours only second thing which is very important is try to revise the concept or the subject from your notes like i have discussed in the previous video while reading that subject while studying that subject in the first phase you have to prepare your own notes that thing is very important so you should revise your own notes rather than revising from the study material you got or from any stand, standard books which you are following in the first phase in the reading phase or maybe you have purchased any uh, you know live video course so rather than watching the video again at the revision time you should revise from your notes your handwritten notes right but if you got stuck somewhere if you are not getting from your notes then for that topic for that you know particular uh, thing you can watch you can refer to your study material like maybe your video tutorial or maybe your book or anything else whatever study material you have and while revising from your handwritten notes i would suggest you prepare very short notes or you can uh, name it at, uh, as a revision notes like if you think that this formula is very important or if uh, you have figure out some short trick for that Uh, you know particular topic or in that topic or anything which is very important you can just note down that thing that thing for that subject so you can make a revision notebook and you can make your revision notes but please do not try to waste your time at you know while preparing revision notes those notes would be you know very short notes like for one subject complete subject your revision notes may be within 2 to 3 pages 
just the most important thing or just those things you uh, you know uh, you think that or you have analyzed the previous paper and you think that from this topic from this formula or based on this formula they every time they ask question so this thing is very important so you can just note down again that formula that thing in your revision notebook so that again if you want to uh, you know revise something or if you want to see uh, those, those, those most important things so you can just refer your revision notes maybe on the day of exam or one day before exam next thing is do not take your revision lightly you have to be very strict while revising it's not like that i have already studied this and it just revision no you have to be very strict while revising you have to be very attentive you have to be very active at that time and also you can make a revision uh, timetable and you need to follow you must follow that timetable for revision also as well as a more uh, point here is what it's not like that maybe uh, you are sitting in a room and where tv is on or some music is going on or uh, maybe while revising you are just you know uh, checking your phone your the notification and everything like whatsapp or facebook or anything you think that it's revision only i have already studied that subject no please do not get disturbed by these things while you are revising it is same as you are reading that subject first time at that time also you need to take care of these things because if you suppose that music is on and you, you suppose that tv is on and you are revising that uh, any subject so it will take longer time you know at that time your mind is not that much concentrated on that subject it is divided it is also listening music also you know maybe watching tv or anything else and you are revising also so it is going to take longer amount of time right and you will not remember that thing for a longer time next is try to teach other person while you are revising or maybe while you are reading at that time also because if you are teaching you know uh, to other person at that time it is your responsibility to make the other person understand that concept understand that topic and at that time you 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 know your brain would be very active it will think in all dimension like this type of question can be asked this type of doubt can be raised so you need to obviously when you are teaching you need to clarify all the doubts of other person or other students right so you will think all the type of questions that can be asked from that topic and this thing is also very important this would be very beneficial for you next thing is while you are revising if you forgot something right if you have read that subject maybe one month ago and uh, you you know forgotten something you have forgotten something so please do not feel demotivated at that time it happens with everyone you are not the only person you are you think that every other person is you know so smart and even i have studied that subject and still i i, I have forgotten this topic or this uh, you know formula or anything else so it happens with everyone it's normal do not feel demotivated at that time you just have to think i can do that it's okay if you forgot i'll revise that thing again right with more concentration with more active mind and the next one is while revising also you need to you know relate that topic or that thing with some your daily life or maybe with your experience or maybe some real life example you can take while revising that topic so these are some tips from my side but it's not like that you have to follow these tips only you can modify these tips according to yourself because ultimately you are the one who want to clarify who want to crack that exam any exam any competitive exam it's not only the ugc net exam so the plan the strategy the preparation strategy would be yours only would be according to your comfort zone right in which you are comfortable do not just blindly follow any others strategy or any others you know the tips given by other person yeah you can listen everyone but you should choose what is best for you right so that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care